Hey there, Ascension Pioneers! Today I would like to talk to you about the difference between discernment and judgment. This is something very obvious to those of us who have that high understanding because it takes awareness, it takes high awareness to understand the difference between the two. And I have been reading about this as well in wonderful Ascension notes from Kara Shalek. She writes beautiful solstice rising ascension notes. And she was explaining this as well. And I already feel that myself. So where's the major difference, <laughs> you might ask? So the thing is, discernment comes from our soul. It comes from our remembrance of the self, of who we are. While judgment comes from the lower ego personality. That doesn't come from that neutral place of observation and divine love. While discernment actually comes from the divine remembrance of who we are as divine love, and it comes from a neutral space of observation. So, as you know, the energy that is the Christed universal love is the Christed consciousness, so-called the neutral energy. And this is the energy of our God Self. So, I have to share with you that on my path of this neutrality, there aren't a lot of others that I meet within this field of resonance. And sometimes, you know, um, as long as I have so many people that resonate and write me beautiful things, which I am completely attuned to, and I thank each and every one of you who has ever written to me in a beautiful way that has shared, that you have shared your heart with me and your experiences, not opinions, <laughs> I really am welcoming this. And I know that it's just started to really unfold. But as long as I have that in my life, at the other opposite side, there will always be those that will have still within them that field of judgment and not understanding. And every time we judge, it just means that we don't come from a higher place of understanding, from our angelic self, which we all have on a deeper level. So while we hold this space, well, we can hold it for a longer period of time, not just for an instant, you know, when you feel connected out there in nature or when you can really hold that. That means anchoring your I am presence. And I have been speaking about this in my video, if you have seen it, the I am presence, while I was explaining this. And it, this isn't just something that you come across to. This is a path of your sacrifice. And this doesn't mean this 3D kind of thinking of, well, what am I to sacrifice? You know, give up all my life, life things and all my material things. No, no, it's not about that kind of sacrifice. It's about sacrificing your lower self, your, your really personality aspect to the path of who you truly are, that kind of sacrifice. This is the sacrifice of your, you know, me, 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 little I to the grander picture, to the grander whole, to the soul mission of that soul only wishes to share love and wants to express itself through love. So I had many people sometimes say to me, oh, you do things like that. This is not good. This is like that, you know, giving me opinions and um, judging a lot sometimes what I do. Well, in fact, they don't even do anything themselves. My friend always says when we talk, he says, well, if you judge a certain video, where's your video? Where's your face? You know, like that. <laughs> where's your smile? Where's your love contribution? Well, every single time you have to understand someone judges you, that doesn't always mean that you attract judgment. <laughs> it means that you're when you are pure, when you have that inner innocence, people will be attracted to that as well, to that light. But they won't know what to do with that light because they have, they have forgotten who they truly are in essence. They have forgotten themselves as divine love, as this beautiful flame of divine love from God, Goddess, from source of all things, consciousness of one. And why they don't, they don't know what to do with that light. So they have to put an attribute, an aspect, a humanly aspect to it, which is usually good, bad, wrong, right, things like that. This is the polarization here on earth. So they feel this tendency to judge because they can't digest what is presented to them from their own inner space. And because they can digest it, because their awareness is not high enough, they have to project it outwards. <laughs> and this is often then uh, manifested as judgment and criticism and blame and you know things like that that every one of us on this path is experiencing and um you can't generalize this you know if you read certain quotes and they say well everything is um on the outer 
the same way as it is in the inner that is true to a certain degree but while you have even higher understanding you will see that when you become this pure mirror you know think of the example of jesus he when he got those initiations when he really embodied his divine self his spirit self he was still blamed and accused by others those who did not understand those who were not yet in tune to their inner god self those who were unaware that their children of God God is at the same time they're it so he was still blamed accused ridiculed he even said that in the gospel he said I am now on this mission and people will they will devour me they will want to do anything but I am here to serve this purpose so it is not always about you attracting this judgment because you judge yourself it means that you become this pure reflection of everything that is hidden whether in a situation or an individual, things like that. Yesterday, I've had a beautiful conversation with my sister of light, and she she has uh, very increased psychic abilities. She sees a lot of things and feels. You know, women, we are often very prone to feeling. Also, a lot of men who are in tune with their, not just their divine masculine side, also the feminine side, which is the intuition and the psychic abilities and things like that. So... Um, she said, well, you have this energy now that everything around you will become, you know, everything that was once hidden will come to light. And I just wanted to say, well, we anchor this neutral energy. We truly do attract that the things that just reveal themselves to us only by being, only by observing. So I have oftentimes spoke about this before, that while we observe, everything becomes transparent and translucent because in truth, it is. It's just our personality sometimes wants to attribute things and see them in a certain way. But when we see from the eyes of the soul, we know. <laughs> and people won't always understand us. We have to realize we're in this path alone, although we're never alone or lonely <laughs> But we are. This is our path, you know. If we think that there's someone that needs to understand us in order for us to do our mission, we clearly don't really realize that it's always us who are in this mission. It's us. It is about us. And these challenges that are on the outer are our challenges. So we can grow stronger in faith, just like Jesus did and many other masters and teachers. And we are way showers who really show and lead only by an example. We're not a leader, but we guide, we help to guide and assist, and we help to give confirmations to those who are on a similar path within this timeline, walking in their own pace. So there is a huge difference between discernment and judgment. And um, you won't need to explain this to others who won't understand you if you're encountering this in your life, but it's enough that you know. And when you know, you know. And as I oftentimes say, this is knowing that no one can take away from you and it's always yours and it is your path and you don't need anyone else to confirm it although we all when we work with spirit get these confirmations everywhere around us because there's so much presence the sacredness of all life is all around us if we are just willing to see and we have to know that those who still judge criticize and blame and make assumptions that are just that they're, they're assumptions they're not they that doesn't make it a higher truth so it's safe to say that all we can do is share compassion. And compassion doesn't mean, you know, nurturing someone and say, oh, you know, well, they're, they're there, there you go. No, it doesn't mean that you have to give comfort. If you're guided, so okay, but you can really save anyone. You can give comfort to everyone. You have to give comfort to yourself and walk your mission of truth. And um, compassion means it's, it's just another word for high understanding, that you always see things from a higher perspective and then hold that space for others. But they, we have to understand that they need to go through their own lessons alone. We can't save anyone. We can just share compassion. We love them, even those who blame and criticize them. Because not this, say, oh, you be positive, be positive. Or it's, it's still a polarized aspect. Be neutral. In neutrality, there is divine love. And Hold that space of divine love for all those who have not yet remembered who they are because this is all that is about. They just didn't remember yet. And those who are meant to remember will. And they will always find us and we will find them. And we are building this web of light. And um, the honesty that we are 
is apparent to those who know how to see beyond words. It is in our eyes. It is in our entire being. And we, our entire being is the vessel for our spirit. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a lovely day. I'm just going for a walk right now. So <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.